Where do you want to sit? What do you have? So getting some food with Badville in Thailand. What's the first menu today? Looks like some some tom, some tom Thai. Dan alone needs like three kanyo. Yeah. Alone. <laughs> Help me recover from my hangover too. Really? <laughs> I, I had a insidious hangover today. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's see what it tastes like. See here? The eggs are a little bit runny too. It's good. This it's is good. good. Not, not very spicy, just a bit. It's uh, tolerable. Mm -hmm. I can't eat spicy, that's why. Second menu, we got some. We got the spare rib soup. Mm -hmm. Spare rib soup. A little bit spicy and sour. Yeah. Cover taste. Cover taste of it. Man, the peanuts and the sum tum are really good. Really? Yeah, that's my favorite part. Actually, one quick story. First time I met Dan, we went to get some food, and I said, order, order steak and sum tum. And I asked Dan, which kind of sum tum you want? He said, the one with the crab. Uh -huh. I was like, sum tum lao. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a word. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> No man, I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah. that's cool that you remember that. Because I did not expect you uh, ordering something loud. Uh, the pride. It's good that you're not a picky eater, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm not a picky eater at all. Because um, there's so many foods that Thai people love that a lot of foreigners don't really enjoy. Yeah. Things like durian, you know? Yeah. A lot of foreigners seem to say, like, they're, they are not open to try. I think if they will just relax and try it, they will like it. Yeah. A lot of people say, like, durian smells like a dirty wet sauce. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't smell very good. Yeah, but it tastes a lot better. It yeah. doesn't... It tastes better than it smells. Yep. Their ribs are so tender. Oh, really? Okay. Right. Got some wings. Two fried wings. Oh, yeah. That's good. This one? Yeah, that's really good. The spare rib is so tender, like, you can just chew it. 
the whole spare ribs. I went to the Beyond Cafe today that you recommended. Mm -hmm. It was good. You went with the girl? Yeah. It's a lot closer. Yeah. It only took me 10 minutes to walk instead of an hour. You said there like five something espresso one day. Yesterday I did, yeah. Five glasses? Um, no, it was. I had two two glasses, but it was it was um, there was in one shot glass there was two shots, and then in the second shot glass there was three. So or like espresso with extra shots. Yeah. Got a spare ribs. Extra, with extra garlic on it. Those smell good. So the last menu for today is fried fish. Look at the size of it. You gotta enjoy this. Um. There's some more church in udon. Some what? There's some more church in udon. Sorry, I had trouble understanding that. Oh. There is a Mormon church. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You ever try? I did. <laughs> what did you think? I don't like that they, um, That they push me to think that what whatever they do is the right thing. Okay, and they were too aggressive. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, have you prayed today, or what else? Uh, have you read the Bible today? It's like, I, I don't need anybody to tell me what to do, you know. And then they. Worship this guy called um, Joseph Smith. Yeah. They say that he's um, a prophet uh -huh. of uh, the Mormon religion. The next most important person to Jesus. What do you think about it? Well, 
he had like a lot of a lot of wives, and I think the whole thing was like a great scheme to like get a lot of power and have a ton of sex with a ton of different women. So you think he, he wasn't legit? No. Uh, He was a scammer. Yeah. He, he was like arrested in New York for for fraud several times before he started the church. Because he'd, he'd walk around with this like stone that he found. And he would say like, oh, this stone has magical powers for finding treasure. And then and then he would like say, I'll, I'll find treasure on your land with my stone if you give me money. And then once the people would give him money, he'd just run away. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to. Hey, you have to. Oh. I'll call you up, I'll call you. Order with someone? Yeah. So So Adam Bradshaw actually learned Thai before he came to Thailand? Yeah. Oh, okay. But then once he got to Thailand, you know, he was getting much better. They, they train you, they train you super fast so that you come here and you're, you're like, you can do it, you can speak. But then once you stay here for two years for the mission and you're like with the people speaking all the time after doing that really intensive study, that, that's how they become so good so fast. I'm sure that the missionaries that you talk to at the Mormon Church, I'm sure that they spoke Thai too. Yeah. They do the same thing. And like, we have this um, You can't spend money on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have something like that, you know, like. I think the only thing that you're capable of doing on Sunday is put gasoline. I don't even think they want you to do that. But they don't want you to spend because they consider uh, spending working yeah. on uh, Sunday. They're making someone else work. I don't like it that they force you to not drink coffee and tea. Yeah, they're pretty crazy about that. <laughs> but I still don't understand how to, can these guys actually afford this. Afford what? Like uh, afford um, afford like uh, spreading the message. All of them. all of the members of the church pay ten percent of their income to the church. So the church has like so much money. Because every you know, there's like a million members and everyone pays ten percent of their income. You know there's some um, televangelists? Uh -huh. uh, on television? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> These guys have their own planes. Their own what? Their planes? own planes. Oh okay, yeah, they, they just, come the same just way. imagine how many Super how, rich, how many people guys. pay. <laughs> Which isn't even necessary, you know? But they're just probably so good at what they do. Yeah. It seems like Jesus was a good guy though because he, he was never doing any of that kind of stuff. He was, he was into being like humble and don't need money and stuff like that. When I think of the Christian religions, I usually think like any specific one that says you have to be this one or else you know, you're not going to heaven. That's dumb. I know. 
the main, the only important thing really is just uh, trying to be like Jesus. Like other than that, that that's it. I agree. It's like they force you to do things. Like, coffee and tea. What's wrong with that, you know? Like, you know what's the hardest thing? No pornography. <laughs> yeah, but maybe it's better to stay away from, from porn if you can, but... <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, uh, have you ever gotten, like, pretty addicted to coffee where you, like, couldn't function without it? I just enjoy it. You've had it happen? It's not that I can't function without it, but I just enjoy drinking coffee. Okay, yeah. Me too. Because it's like a substitute, you know? Instead of um, me drinking something that's flavorful. Yeah. I, I like coffee a lot too. I like to drink it a lot, but I've been really addicted to it before where I like couldn't, I couldn't like do my day without having it, you know? Like I had to have it. Now I'm, I'm not addicted, but... Okay, so we just finished eating, and that was pretty good. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go back home now. I'm really full at the moment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Like this video, press like, press subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.